talking about cash, which periodically outperforms, but it's, it, it's for non-professionals, for folks who are not Dan Niles, it doesn't make sense, right, to try to play that game. Well, I think this, what this chart shows is the periods of time when assets outperform right. relative to cash outperforming. Right. And what you see is, in most instances, assets outperform. Right. Right. And so the question is, instead of trying to time the market between cash right. and you're assets, buy, you're going to make this infinitesimal move. You're going to make that little move and there. And then get back here and then go all into cash there. I mean, it's, it's improbable. If, if, you're, if your time horizon is a few years, which, you know, most most investors should be thinking on at least a few year time horizon. You want to be thinking about how do you diversify your asset portfolio to protect yourself against a bunch of different possible economic outcomes, much more than trying to. Have yeah. time between cash I, and assets. I, you know what I blame? I blame TV for that. I really do. Financial television kind of ruined that. The idea of people think they can beat the market every day because the guy on TV said he's beating it every day. I think what you're saying is 100% right.